Hey, hi, Praveen. I am a fresher and I am studying in the third year of college. Hi, Praveen. I am a support engineer. I want to move to the DevOps role. Hi, Praveen. I have completed my engineering and I'm trying to look out for various job opportunities. Hi, Praveen. In 2025, what is the best tools and technologies to upskill in the software industry to get a job? All your questions will be answered in this video. So stay tuned till the end of this video. And if you have come to the channel for the first time, watch all the interview playlist, which I have cleared from various companies, Amazon, Walmart, Cisco, Adobe, and recently I've cracked JP Morgan Chase, Rakuten, Value Labs, EPAM, all those interview questions along with the interview experience number of rounds. These product based companies are looking for in and candidate, how the resume is getting shortlisted, all those things I have made a dedicated video playlist. You can check out there. And if you are looking to upskill in 2025 with latest DevOps tools and technologies and tech stack, look out for batch 10, which we are going to start in next week itself. So hardly you have five days to complete level one and level two prerequisites, which are attached in the website. Also in this particular batch 10, I am going to tell you various kinds of things, various kinds of processes, various kinds of hands-on projects from my Walmart or Verizon or Infosys projects and experience. Also, you are going to get in this batch 10, my Infosys resume, my Walmart resume, my Verizon resume for you to upskill in 2025. So let's get started into the video. So as you all are aware that job market is getting tight and it's really difficult to get into a structured format of job. If you are also aware down the line, eight years back, 10 years back, getting a job was easy with respect to now in 2025, if you are looking for competition is tough and the number of students passing out from each of the college are in the high ratio. According to the recent statistics I have done uh, in the last few hours, I was doing various kinds of research. I have found that about 90% of the students who are passing out from these engineering colleges are not getting placements. Now, here we are not supposed to blame college. Here we are not supposed to blame the curriculum. Here we are not supposed to blame the faculty or the teachers. Here the only primary point of contact or the primary point of person whom I will be blaming is you. Yes. Even when I was a fresher, there was no one to guide me, but you should be fortunate enough that you are watching this video and there is someone like on the YouTube, different kinds of mentors are there. You are fortunate enough to get these kind of mentors who are putting you in the right track to upskill in 2025. Now let's start with what you have to do. Suppose you are in a third year, you are in a fourth year or you are graduated. You are looking for a job. What is the right step I should take Praveen is the number one step which you need to follow is start looking for coding platform opportunities. I would suggest you all to check out any platform, let's say like lead code geek for geeks or hacker rank, even for a DevOps engineers, these are very much important. If you don't know where to start, how to start, I have given the link in the description. You can check out that link. And based on that, you can start with the basic Python coding language. And slowly you can start with the automations. Let's say like in DevOps, uh, I have a URL. I need to get hit the URL, get the data, extract the data, process the data and send it back to some of the systems which are reading this data, right? So that's how the Python coding you need to do. Even in Walmart, I would say some scenarios where I was heading a team of two people and I made sure that they are also learning Python. So one such example was, you know, like in Kubernetes, there are different kinds of pods, right? And in each of the pod, there is a container running in each container. There is an application running in Walmart. We used to have multiple applications which used to have certificates in each of this application. Now there is a Python code we need to write where we have to automate the entire certificate renewal process, right? So these certificates are to be renewed in six months, 30 days, 45 days, depending on the type of application that Walmart is using. So I, along with my team have written some Python code where it goes to each of the Kubernetes cluster, uh, takes out the data of the application with the help of for loops, lists, and so many things in terms of coding. And finally, 
uh, finally hits the end point of the Venafi. We used to we used to have our certificates in Venafi portal. It seemed like your uh, other portals like GoDaddy or DigiCert. So it used to hit the data, get the new certificates and put it on the pods, right? So that's how we used to do the automations. And I would suggest start with Python coding. guys. If you know coding, no one is going to stop you. Yes, at times it will feel very difficult to know like where to start, how to start, where to go. But I will tell you, start with automations of Python. If you have not seen the video, it will be there in my YouTube channel. The 300 Python automations will be strongly helping you in understanding ki yaar, achha, Python coding aise karne se Now let's understand like in the next 10 days, you have seen 10 automations. Each day one automation you have picked up and you try to understand how the automations are working with respect to Python and you are strong enough to clear any kind of fresher interview. Now let's go ahead. In the second point of time, I would say start with a DevOps tool stack. Here the primary tool stack or the order of the tool stack, which I'll be telling, which will be very much important for 2025. Listen carefully. The first one, start with CI CD pipelines, where you have to know each of the tools like Jenkins, uh, you can say like Maven, you can say like JFrog, Ansible, Kubernetes, uh, monitoring tools like Prometheus, Grafana, Splunk, and also here you need to understand how this entire system is working. So whenever someone is asking, have you worked in CI CD pipelines, you have to tell your own project or any project from the YouTube. The interviewer is also knowing that you are a fresher, but for you, let me tell you that the confidence that you are showing that ki yaar, main kar lunga, kuch bhi task do CI CD mein, I'll be able to do that. That confidence you need to show to the recruiter that you are hundred percent sure ki koi bhi kaam do, tum usko thod faad ke kaise bhi kar loge, right? You do Google, you help take help from confidence pages, you take help from any of your friends, but you will achieve that job. That's what a recruiter is seeing at you. Even I have done so many interviews in Walmart. I've given so many interviews after and before Walmart and I've taken many interviews even in Walmart and I only see like what confidence that particular person has if he or she is given a particular task, will he or she will be able to survive and complete that task by doing uh, any kind of like ups and downs or any kind of Google also is fine, but I want my task to be completed, right? So after you know CI CD, make sure that you are learning towards Docker and Kubernetes. As I have told you, these platforms are very, very much important to be there in your resume. After that monitoring, and if you are still aware, check with any security tools, I would suggest don't directly jump into like uh, into each of the tool and learn everything thing and don't waste like one week, one tool or 10 days, one tool. You have to learn with respect to the projects. I would suggest that any kind of projects, if you see in my channel, go ahead and do that project. The documents will also be there in the description. You can check out that or join any kind of telegram group of mine where you will get so many documents and you can tell any project end to end. When you are doing a project end to end, you will be able to understand that yes, that's how the Linux commands works. Yes, that's how the troubleshooting happens. Yes, that's what the tools are integrated. Yes, that's what pods are created. That's how the containers are created, right? So coding is done with respect to Python. You are understanding the DevOps tool stack. Now, Praveen, what is the third step I need to take? Now here, the third step, which is very, very much important is start spending some money on yourself. I would suggest if you have done some courses on YouTube or you are learning from yourself, it will be very great that you start with some certifications or some process oriented formats where you get a right mentor uh, to make sure that you are are looking out for correct things according to your ability. So as I've told you, batch 10 is also there. Or if you are aware of any mentor or tutor who is teaching you from zero to hero DevOps, you can go from there also and always compare prices and placement stories. And based on that, you can take. So I would suggest the third point, take a course or apply your earnings or learnings or whatever your parents can afford with respect to you, go with a certification also. The primary important certification which you have to consider in 2025 is one is RHCSA, Red Hat Linux System Administration. One is Kubernetes, CKA or CKAD, any one is fine. Or the other one which is primarily important for everyone is any cloud certificate. Here also when you are talking about cloud, opt for cloud DevOps or cloud security or cloud, uh, you can say like uh, cloud architecture kind of certifications which can help you to upskill from your current role or to help which will help you to make sure that you are at a fresher role and you are looking out for opportunities with this kind of things. I would suggest the point number four is start working with the freelancing opportunities. Now here you have to log in into the fiverr.com and you have to create your account, start with free projects and you have to make the profile in such a way that 
Yes, I am ready to do any kind of free work. If you like my work, then you pay any amount as per your interest. That's what the initial one, two months of efforts you should have. And if your Fiverr profile is good, people are coming from outside India and they are trying to pay you. You are helping them to overcome their challenges, their responsibilities. That will be a good kickstart for you because you will be getting the real time projects from that freelancing opportunities. You can apply that same thing into your resume and convert your resume into a particular real time experience. Uh, candidates resume. So I hope that in this particular 10 minutes of span, I have helped you with four pointers. If you are looking for any kind of help, do comment down uh, below and like the video and share the channel link with your friends. And I hope that this video have helped you uh, never think about hikes or salaries or what kind of positions you are going to get. I would suggest if you are a fresher, start with any job that you are going to get, even if it is free, uh, even if someone is asking for you to work for free, opt for that opportunity that will be a starting point for you. I have started with 13,000 salary and I am doing right now uh, so many things uh, right and you are aware of all those things whatever I am doing. So mm -hmm. I'm, what I am telling is it takes time but nevertheless don't stop keep working hard and exploring the opportunities. So all the best for your 2025 future uh, things and uh, comment down if anything you need help from my end. So this is Praveen signing off. Check out the free Kubernetes masterclass. Also a video we are doing tomorrow. Uh, the complete three hours masterclass we are doing for free. So check out that links in the description. So this is Praveen signing off from this video. Meet you in the next video. Until then take care. Bye.